in a sec. We can't wait forever. Why your nacho fries, please? Made with Mexican spices. Made for nacho cheese sauce. Only at Taco Bell. Wait a second. Who is that? Hello, YouTubers. It is I. Back with another video and a very happy holiday season to all of you out there. So every often you get a band that comes along that crosses genres where you have a normie who likes them and then you also have hardcore kids that adore them. A band with a vocal style that sounds less like a hardcore band and more like a silly kid who likes to play with reverb and record his vocals over other things. And guitars that are one part shred, one part funky with a little bit of spaciness to it, and a bass that goes in its own direction from time to time. And drums that are super groovy. And it works. All of it works. You get turnstile. Turnstile is a band that started in 2010 and grew out of the Baltimore hardcore scene, which features such varied acts as Trapped Under Ice, great band name by the way, Metallica reference, War on Women, End It, and Praise. Now all of those bands have the same basic DNA. Then you have Turnstile, <laughs> often thought of as music that fits in the groove. Turnstile takes elements of nearly every genre and mishmashes them all together. Whether that's a funky, spacey pop part that sounds like it could, come, it could come straight out of 1985, up through the heaviest of heavy breakdowns with bass drums. They always find new ways inside the genre to be original, and yet keep the same hardcore spirit that drove their first few releases. This is a straight up hardcore album. Every single song sounds like a youth crew record from 1988. Breakdown, gang vocals. However, it's nothing super spectacular, but that's still to come. Standout songs from this record are Pressure to Succeed, the title track, New Rules, and Death Grip. This is more like it. From the production, you can tell this record has some of the qualities that they would grow into. It's getting more dancey overall, and I can hear the writing taking a bit of a turn on this record. Standout tracks from this album are Better Way and Keep It Moving. This feels more like a continuation of the last record, with the exception of a few songs. For example, Bleach Temple features this super rad chorus out guitar intro. Also, the super melodic and repeated lyric in Blue by You. The standouts on this album are definitely Blue by You, Out of Rage, Bring It Back, and Gravity. Here we have a humdinger of a record. One, one of a band that has that almost has it. Also, the drum production on this record is 10 times better than anything they have released up until this point. And for a band that's made exclusively out of drummers, that must have made them nuts. There are so many good songs in this album, but gun to my head, I would say that my standout tracks are I Don't Wanna Be Blind, Generator and can't get away. This is it. This is an amazing record from start to finish, and it's really not that long of an album. This is when everything comes together the drums, the guitar, the vocal production, all top notch on this record. It was recorded by a guy who is Dr. Dre's protege, so there you go. Top songs include Holiday, Blackout, Fly Again, 
turnstile love connection and lonely desires they have created a brand new genre with this album and it is up to everyone else to catch up there's hip-hop there's r&b there's hardcore there's straight up metal there's rock nearly every genre of music besides Jazz Fusion, I don't know, is on this album. So what is your favorite Turnstile album? Do you have a favorite track? What is it about the band that just brings everyone together? Shoot me a comment down below. And as always, do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much to everyone. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Be well.